I am riding to all 852 quick trip locations throughout the Midwest on my motorcycle. Good morning from day five. Technically, I'm still on day four of the last two legs, but I'm up with the sun a little later than what I wanted to be. Um, two hours later, actually, I was pretty exhausted from day three and day four, apparently, that I needed some more rest. But, all right, time to keep going. Well, it wouldn't be an adventure, right? If I had to find a gravel road somewhere, this is the fastest route to get to the Quick Star. Seriously? There's road construction on the highway that I was supposed to take. There's no signage, nothing, no warning, nada. So I take the next road available, which just happens to be this lovely little number here. So exhausted. I did a full 24 hours straight on day three, and then I tried to rally straight through for day four. Okay, I took a power nap. Oh gosh. I'm gonna concentrate here. But I took two power naps. Run right when I finished day three leg, it was like 5 a.m. I took At the quick trip stop. <laughs> at the quick trip stop. And then I just kept going. I kept going, I kept going until I always hit around that like noon, one o'clock time frame. I get into that lull. So I took around like a little park and a shelter. I took a quick cat nap on a picnic table as well. Well, that back there got my adrenaline going, so I'm feeling better than I was trying to get to this spot here. <sighs> but I have to be honest with you guys, I am falling behind fast. I was over ambitious for what I had planned. Like I thought, oh, it's no problem. It should be easy peasy to go. Didn't realize that, okay, every single stop that I'm doing, I have to get a dated business receipt or at least attempt to. And if it's, they're not open, I'll get like a timestamp photo of my bike in that location just to prove, you know, that I was there at that point in time. But that takes up so much. Yeah, look, real close. So much time. Way longer than it needs to be. Because if I'm doing 70 to 80 stops a day and each stop is at least in the minimum when I was trying to get into a real good rhythm and routine three minutes maybe four minutes I don't think I got down to two minutes I try to time myself just to see how fast I could do it but that adds up quickly because like 80 stops times two that's two hours three hours almost extra from what I added on to just my original route. So my 13 hour days are now 15, 16 hours. And technically for day five, I have a 20 hour day scheduled. But with those amount of stops, that's 23, 24 hours. That's a whole nother full days of riding, like all the way through. And I physically should not and cannot continue to do that every other day or every day. Like, my body is just going to at some point be like, no Whitney. So I'm feeling a little, a little bummed. I don't want to say stressed out because like this is fun. I love what I'm doing here. I just am upset that I can't do it in the time frame that I had originally planned. But nobody has done this before, so how am I supposed to know and base it off of, I don't know, maybe there's somebody that did something I just didn't do the research into it, but I didn't know all of the things going into it that I do now. Somewhere in the southern portion of Iowa, middle of the state right now, kind of going back and forth, zigzagging through. I was supposed to be up in the cross area already tomorrow. 
I still got the whole northern portion of Iowa yet to do. So, nope, not gonna happen. I feel so bummed out right now. <laughs> Sucks. So, uh, I am kind of rerouting things. And I'm gonna make my way back to Wisconsin now, even though I'm on like the southernmost po most potion, portion, portion of Iowa right now. I have family obligations that don't really allow me a lot of flexibility because my husband's military to be away for that much longer. So with the time that I do have left, I'm going to focus on what I can do. And that should be completing all of the Wisconsin ones. <sighs> Sucks. I feel like I let you guys down. Let's focus on the positive. I'll be in Wisconsin again here shortly. And I'll at least be able to do all of the Wisconsin quick trips within 11 days. I'm gonna hit up this one that's pretty much right on the river, but still in Iowa, just cause, I don't know. I want, I don't know if I'll be able to get to all of them this year yet, but I want to get to all of them eventually. So this one is just another one to check off the list for me. to make plan B happen. Ride to all of the quick trips in Wisconsin. As the marketing team for Quick Trip helped me out while I was riding, they did some investigating and found out that there's 503 of them. I'm not sure how many I've been to already, but probably almost, uh, I want to say over half. I would, I would press my luck to say probably about half. Within the last two stops, I hit 20,000 miles on this vehicle. And I'm riding in the Driftless region, the beautiful sunset, crap ton of bugs all on my windscreen and my helmet and this is just a good way to celebrate and look at this this looks fantastic hello the mississippi <laughs> i love being over here especially on the bike if i was gonna end a night that i didn't think was gonna go according to plan this is better than what i expected I feel super disappointed. I feel like I let everybody down. What I said I was gonna do, but nobody has done this before. How am I supposed to know that it takes so dang long <laughs> to do all of these stops? I was just super ambitious about it. And then I came to the realization that it's just not physically possible to do within the 11 days. I could, I could still do it. Like if I didn't have to worry about going back to work and taking care of the kiddos, I would be able to accomplish this. No questions asked. What can you do? Just enjoy being on my favorite bike with the great sunset and water views. Headed to another quick trip. I mean, it can't get much better than than that right now. Hmm. I'm gonna sign off for tonight. Find a hotel early, do some rerouting on my computer for the next couple days, and I need to 
check my chain and oil or chain and chain and lube pretty much because I've not touched it and it's been 2,500 miles right now. <laughs> Probably needed. So some maintenance tonight, tomorrow morning, and then just back on the road doing what I've been doing. Just in Wisconsin, that's all. Alright, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time. doesn't even turn on now. I can't start it. Oh yeah yeah it has been a whirlwind of a day but I'm glad and like if I were to break down anywhere this is the most ideal ideal situation that I could have ever asked for.